Now from the Weather Tracker TV Storm Studios, this is your weather today. Here's Chief Meteorologist William Cole. All right, folks, here we go right out of the gate on this finally Friday. Made it through a very hot work week, coasting now into the weekend. Uh, the weekend forecast looking very hot as well as we kind of expand out the weather scope looking into next week. Uh, again, if you work outdoors, if you're a farmer, rancher, have outdoor animals, outdoor cattle, uh, next week is going to be a week you're going to want to really pay attention to. Temperatures are going to go from very hot to even hotter. And again, there may be some concern for next week developing around the area. We're going to talk about that coming up. Uh, but let's go and talk about our finally Friday, first of all. And again, 101. I wish I could say that was my hottest day on my entire 12 day, but it's truly nowhere near. But again, today, very hot. Do exercise, heat caution, and again, plenty of sun as we go through the afternoon. Less in the way of Saharan dust. In fact, really not seeing much of any out there. Uh, yesterday kind of had that hazy, almost kind of that dirty sky look. Made for good sunset pictures, uh, but again, most of that Saharan dust is now filtering out of the area. So we're actually at 19. Uh, 100 degree days now. For some reason, the system did not want to, it didn't want to take that number this morning. So 19 as of yesterday. Uh, just to put this into perspective, again, a typical year in DFW, we average right around 20. So we're basically after today, right about where we typically would be. Uh, again, we've got several more 100 degree days on the way, right? So we're definitely going to be above normal as far as our 100 degree days go. Uh, could we make it to where we were last year of 47? And we'll see if we make it that far. And then again, the all-time record of 100 degree days for a calendar year, mainly in the summer, obviously, uh, still the brutal summer of 2011, uh, where we had over 70 days. So, of course, nowhere near uh, that number so far. So this is where we started the morning. And again, continues to be not much in the way of any heat relief overnight. We've been showing this map all week. Uh, upper 70s to right around 80 for overnight lows. Uh, so again, that very warm start to the morning definitely sets you up for an even hotter afternoon. Now, there's been a few showers, believe it or not, up in Oklahoma, and they've been drifting south towards the Red River Valley. Uh, but each one of those showers, as they made it to the Red River Valley, basically vaporized before it could even make its way into North Texas. So we're still completely dry. Uh, elsewhere, to truly find any real active weather, you have to look well off to the north. And again, also to the northeast, uh, we've been talking about that. That's where the jet stream flow is. It's up and around our big area of high pressure. Of course, this is our summer heat dome, the big donut hole. You can see it right there. And again, as is typical this time of year, the storm track, the jet stream goes well to the north. This is also typical, by the way, as well, uh, to have our summer heat dome or summer heat bubble if you're new to the area. Uh, but again, the way it looks right now, the unfortunate part of this as we get into next week, uh, where this has kind of been centered off to our west, it appears as though the core of the summer heat dome may center right over next, to, uh, right over North Texas, rather, as we get into next week. And again, because of that, it's again really going to take us from pretty hot where we are now uh, again to the very hot level as we get into parts of next week. So again, the storm track, even as we go through the rest of the day, where's the active weather going to be? Again, you can see well off to the north. Again, no real opportunity, unfortunately, even anywhere in the Lone Star State of any active weather. I mean, we're essentially, as we go through the day today, dry border to border. Even some of the coastal showers that we've had down around H-Town, down around Houston, again, those aren't really even manifesting today whatsoever. So the Lone Star State as a whole, it's going to be hot. And again, the other thing we're really going to have to try carefully next week are the grid conditions around the state because the entire state, it's going to be dry. And uh, again, it's going to be sweltering as we get into next week. So that may be a storyline uh, again, the power grid conditions that develop um, next week as well. Otherwise, as we go through the day today, generally speaking, we're talking about triple digits. Again, pick your poison here, 102, 103, uh, 104, regardless, hot all around the area. Uh, so not a record high today, 101. Again, my forecast, and again, a record high would be 105. We may be in record territory, as I mentioned, as we get into next week. Uh, so here would be your Friday evening, all important Friday evening plans. Again, looking hot, looking dry, a fairly typical summer evening out there. And again, overnight lows here, 70s to right around 80 again here in the Metroplex. And again, that's going to set us up for another very hot day as we go through Saturday. A fairly decent mix of triple digits around the area. So then as we go forward in time, we'll begin to turn up the thermostat. You can see going forward by Sunday up to 104. But again, it's next week where we see at least a couple 106s showing up where the concern may be growing.